Y'all know how much I like music so much. I love music like so much. And, and you're right. It's just like, Diane, you just don't want to get paid. I'm telling you, y'all, I just, music just speaks to me. I just love music. And speaking of that, like getting paid and stuff like that, like, so my attorney texted me and I had to go see my attorney this morning. And, uh, you know, they know they shit. I'm not going to say that I know everything. I know a lot of things that I want to do, my ideas and all this stuff. But now where I am though right now, I have my attorney involved so that I'm protected. You know what I'm saying? So apparently he was on my YouTube and he sent me a text about come see him. So I went this morning to go and see him. He put the brakes on Black Candy After Dark. Hey, honey. So he put the brakes on Black Candy After Dark, right? So uh, apparently on my first show... More than likely, he's going to be here at my house during my first show. So I have to get all the paperwork and stuff together for people that's going to be um, on my show so that they can sign uh, paperwork for being on the show. So anyway, um, I was giving him a little bit of everything uh, this morning and he was like, my wife needs to be all up in your audience. <laughs> it was so funny. But anyway, I've known him for years. He's amazing and all this stuff right there. But also having to put more paperwork with black candy after dark to make sure that everything is straight because um i'm not doing this shit half ass at all at all and um so another thing is that i'm gonna be taking ayana later on this afternoon because ayana wants to be able to play around with the turntables and i don't know if you guys seen the last time that we were um at the music store getting the equipment ayana was playing with a soundboard right and so she likes it and she wants to play with it and so and then she was like hey maybe i can learn some stuff for your show so i'm probably gonna get that y'all those shits cost a lot of money those shits are like um over a thousand dollars two grand but they had a smaller one and i want to say maybe it was about 400 or something like that but she wants to be able to play with it but hey if I can have family in the inside that's going to help me on some stuff where I don't have to be paying for other people, and plus I'm going to be producing the show though as well, then, um, hey, I'll let Ayana play with it all day long because, you know, these kids, they're learning shit though now. But they're not even going to school for it. They're just playing with shit all up in their bedrooms and stuff like that. And then um, they are making like all of these, um, all these tunes and stuff and, and, and selling them. So, but anywho... Um, I have had so many people that want to give me music. I got, you know, a lot of people that still want to go on the show. I told some of the people today that I had to put the brakes on the show and push it out, you know, for another week or so until uh, Don gets all of this paperwork right. And then I also told them that they were going to have to sign paperwork in order to come on the show. They're okay with that. They're just ready to come and stuff like that. So, anywho, um, and also, you know, they got to know what my attire is going to be. And, y'all, when I sit here and say that I'm working out, working out, working out because my body is going to be seen and I'm just trying to get everything together and produce a good and high quality show. Um. Anyway, so back to beauty and stuff. So I got to curl this unit and when I go and work out, I take my unit off and I'm wearing like a headscarf or something like that. And I used to have a workout unit and um, I threw it away. 
and now I'm trying to think of why I threw it away. I don't know why I um, threw the unit away. So today I did get me another unit for working out. And so I am going to be doing you guys later on tonight. I am going to post a wig video. And the wig video is going to be of this Tory unit right here. If you guys can see this right here, it's short to you. This is Tory. Um, it's a number four. It is not this color for those of you guys who don't know numbers of units or whatever. It's not a number four. Some of you guys could be having um, like one B in your head, which is black or whatsoever. But no, this is a number four. So it's more of a brownish light color. And so I'm going to be like kind of changing up the color and stuff like during the summer and start back. I told you guys I want to get this channel back to how it used to be about hair, makeup, fitness, all that stuff. And I am taking this all the way back because when black candy after dark pops off it's gonna be something totally different but my ideas for black candy after dark took a big shift today when i saw my attorney so boom i mean which is for the good i'm happy about it so it's just like no nah, you you got to do this so because you guys remember um i got burned before by one company that i had worked with and the company sold the company sold and then and i didn't sign paperwork for them to use me on their website and they were doing um black friday sales i don't know if some of you guys might remember that and you know they were doing black friday sales and all this stuff and my body they use my body in the whole thing so that's what i do you know i'm saying my body sells that's what i use and so now i'm trying to get my body back to what it was as of me working out and stuff like that i am getting all my workouts and stuff back in and watching what i am eating so you guys might hear my stomach growl because I have not eaten um and i am i'm on point with these invisalign you know i'm on point with these invisalign because um i know you guys miss my videos my all these wigs and hair videos and all this stuff is going to be back on black candy all that stuff is going to be back here for helping you guys also sharon i did get your email about the afraid stuff and um i wanted to answer you back but it was going to be so long about answering you back on um that email but it's you know hey it's good 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 video or whatever so it's going to be a good video i'll answer that back later on tonight so anywho let's talk about this so with kiara leaving and stuff and you guys know i have plenty of these this is not the one that you guys usually see i have uh mannequin heads and stuff like that these are the real mannequins i don't like the white uh styrofoam ones and shit like that i don't like those i like the real mannequin heads and stuff because i like to dress my girls up put sunglasses on them and all this stuff so with that being said, I um I gave Kira some stuff to put her units on. Hold on. And I ain't trying to beat up nothing. So anywho, I'm trying to hold this clothes up too. Because I came from work early uh today. But anyway, so I'm always I have mannequin heads. Y'all, I just like beauty. Everything about a woman being just beautiful. And even just Holding your um, wigs and stuff like that. Your you take care of your stuff. Don't just throw it around. Take care of this is you. This is like your hair. So I needed to get another unit to work out in. If I work out and stuff like that, very suddenly will I take a unit like this? You know what I'm saying? This is like five and six hundred dollars for a unit, getting the hair and all that stuff and getting it made. I will never take my hair like that and just sweat in it and have it all funky and stuff like that so what i will do is i will get a synthetic unit a synthetic unit i and it's a, this is what it's for working out sweating swishing around a disc detergent and all that stuff and putting it on your head but it's got to be cute this is a lot of hair so that's why this is going to be a separate video for you guys um i went and i picked this tory unit I purchased it myself. It's not sponsored. Was not given to me by the beauty supply store whatsoever. All right. So, and then I also got um, some clips, some um, some wig combs that I'm gonna sew in there because I need to have that secure when um, I'm leaving the gym. And then another little thing to tie it up. Now, I won't work out in it. It's just that when I leave the gym, I gotta be cute. You never know who you're gonna run into, who gonna be saying hey or whatsoever. But when I'm in the gym, I get down and dirty. I don't give a damn who see me because it's all about my body and my health. You know what I'm saying? And me getting my heart rate up. That's what it's about. Now, outside of the gym and stuff like that, then y'all gonna be seeing me like all trying to be all cute and stuff. So, hi. So you're gonna see me all trying to be all cute and stuff. That's why I'm trying to work back with my teeth and stuff like that and close that gap. Um, so I got that 
when I was giving Kiara uh, a mannequin head, I found this in storage. I was like, oh, snap. What, Kiara? Y'all, wh why am I talking about Kiara? Because like, Kiara... Stop. Y'all see this? Look at this. This is my daughter. Just Kiara, 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 Kiara. Kiara, stop. You know I'm on live. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I don't know who might be with you right now. Hold on. Right quick. Is Sergeant Morrison with you right now? Answer me. So I'm thinking, well, apparently, y'all are supposed to be working. Y'all, this, so I have new subscribers, though, now, that is um, on post with Kiara. And one of them is her sergeant that asked about me. Hi, Sergeant Morrison. How are you? And so I'm giving you a shout out. Next video, we'll talk. So apparently... I think that they might be watching me. If you guys are, you guys should be working. And so, so but anyway, I came home early. So when I was giving Kiara this mannequin head, maybe you don't want me to talk about this because you know, they know that girls wear units and wigs and all that stuff, girl. Get over it, be you. So anywho, I found this wig right here. This is not this one, y'all. This is not this unit. I have not worn this unit right here in over two years. I have not worn this in over two years. So I started to like rock her early this morning, but then when I put her on, baby, y'all see this right here? It's no wig clips up in here. And this mug was not about to slide off my head because me, I run my hands through my hair and stuff like that. And this mug has to be secure on my head. And if I'm gonna be wiping and stuff, this right here is not about to slide off my head. So that was why I bought some wig um, combs that I'm gonna sew in here. This right here will be a weekend play wig right here. And um, and I'm also going to sew some combs into this Tory wig. She already has a couple, but I need to make sure that I'm secured all the way around. Also, while I was at the beauty supply store, I picked up some um, lip gloss because I want to start glossing it up. I do um, dye my lips. When I say dye my lips, I mean staining. You guys can, um, you guys can get stained lipstick. So, when I say stained lipstick, it's more like this. This is a number one go-to that I go to. This is um, Cherry Jubilee from Avon. A Avon. Some of y'all don't go... Avon goes way back with me when my mom used to sell Avon when I was little. So, anyway, Avon. Look how much I don't use all that. I have a couple. So, you can use... I really don't want to put this on right now. But, anyway, if you put this on your lips, right... And you let it sit on there for like, you know, a couple of minutes or whatever. And you wipe your lips off. Your lips are stained that color for a while. So, but other than that, if you're going to be with a guy or girl or whoever you might be with or whatever. And you don't want to do a transfer. Don't put this on and just leave it on your lips. Because it's going to transfer to them. And it's going to be on their lips. It's going to stain. It's going to show that they was just kissing a girl or kissing somebody or whatever. So, anywho. If you want to just have like a glow of this color, so you can put a little bit here, right? That's all you need. And it doesn't matter how it goes on or whatsoever, right? You just need a little bit in the center. And now it's dried, right? So your lips are stained. You can have the shadow effect. So I got this right here from the beauty supply store. This was $1.99. And... This right here is called Graceful. So you guys can see this color. It's called Graceful. And remember, I don't want to wear makeup and stuff for the summer. So I just want to be, I want to gloss it up. And make sure when you gloss your lips, ladies, get in the, con the corner out here. Most of the time, I just, I do like this. And make sure I get my corner like that. Because if you're not good and you do this right here, you're going to have a lot of extra gloss and stuff on the side. But anyway, I just want to gloss it up. And try not to have too much color because of these damn Invisalign though too. So, I want to keep it light and sexy and classy. Classy. But I am going like really all out with trying out different lashes. 
and everything. I did get some more lashes. The lashes that I have changed to, I thought I had told you guys what lashes I changed to uh, recently. Apparently, I guess the hell I didn't. Um, hold on. Oh, the 3D mink lashes. I thought about them, but I didn't know, honey, how those were going to do. I, I've never tried them. These are the Kayla lashes that I'm doing the 3D mink. You guys want to see that? So these are the strips. If you guys are good at putting them on the top, you can put them on the top. Or now they have a new way of putting lashes on. The girls are like now raising the lids and putting them up under the eye. So now here you go so you guys can see because I know you guys are going to want to ask about them hopefully you guys can see this kayla kayla lashes that's that i'm going all out with beauty and my look i'm going to be changing up my look you guys know i'm changing up uh the hair that i am going to be um wearing and stuff i have my black unit on flexi rides um right now and they've been sitting on flexi rides for um hold on let me get okay so they have been sitting on flexi rides for like over a week and i was started to take it down and wear it but i'm not gonna wear it so i'm gonna tell you guys about this flexi rod stuff the longer that you sit the longer it's going to hold but the tighter that you want the curls and you want them to hold for a little bit longer though too wait let me find a rod so i can get this back right hold on so um you can just spray it for however many days or whatever um Every other day, this has been on here for about two weeks on this unit, and this is my black unit, and it has just been sitting here. So, I plan on wearing this this weekend. This right here is water, and um, it has um, some of this solution right here. What is this, Kier? I forgot what the name of this is. Cantu. So, it's a tiny, tiny bit of Cantu, and you like new lipstick on me? Thank you. So I'm trying to do things a little bit different and bringing this beauty channel back up. So while your wig, ain't that some shit. Y'all like, I got all these damn mannequin heads and shit just everywhere. So anyway, I did have her tucked in before, but I had this one on there and I should have been tucking her in and then I used T-pins or whatever. Please understand guys that this right here is really the front of the head and this is the back of the head. Measure what size your head is so you'll know what to get. This is a 22 right here. If you guys don't know when you're making wigs and stuff like that, how to measure your head, you need to me measure, you take a tape measure, I don't have one right here. I'll do it when I do my wig. You measure all the way around your head. Then you're going to measure from ear to ear. And then you're going to measure from the front of your um, uh, the front of your forehead all the way to the back of your nape. And that's how you will make a unit that will fit your head professionally and not just going and getting a wig and just slapping it on your head, okay? Because you want to make it look good, right? Not cheap. And so, anyway, sorry about this falling off, but damn it. This is my black unit. Y'all gonna see me in this right here this weekend because I got the outfit. I'm already ready, okay? I'm already ready for this weekend. So, anywho, let's put her on here. Damn it. Come on, sit your ass. Okay, so she's not even on here right. Hold on, y'all. My head trying to fall off. So, anyway, throughout the week or whatever, if you still want to make sure that these curls are good, which they're going to be good though anyway, but I want my stuff to be tight and fabulous and big, big glamorous hair. I want to be big glam, big glam glam this weekend. So I'm going to spray this and y'all, this unit, I'm not even wearing this until Saturday. Okay. So when this dries, it's going to dry like this. Please don't wet your unit down like this right here. If you're going to be wearing it like the next day, I have a couple of days, so I'm going to make sure that all this is right. I want it to be wet and really, really dry. So, I want it to dry in there real good. If you have a um, a dryer, right? Not the regular hand hair dryer, the one with where it has the cap that goes over it, over your head or whatever. The cap. What you can do is put the cap over this, turn this on, and let it sit for like 20 minutes at a time. Or whatever and then you go because when i say i want my hair to be glam this weekend i want to be glam that's why i got all these new lashes and all this stuff here because i'm gonna glam and i'm gonna do a cut crease makeup look for you guys so that makes my eyes like really really pop i am going to be wearing makeup this weekend okay i am so anyway and i'm gonna be wearing black hair black hair so 
that's it for that. Um, what you were saying about the Z? But anywho, that's that. Um, I am going to touch up on my edges. You guys know how I like doing the baby hairs and stuff now. So that everything. Um, yeah, guys, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. Um, I am going to be touching up on the baby hair because I like how it lays and how I separate everything with my units. Hi. Um, what else did I pull out for you guys? So... These are some more um, lip glosses that I got from the Beauty Supply. If you guys can see this color. This right here, it seems like a little red or whatever, but it's going to come off clear. And um, and then this one right here is going to be like a little nude with sparkle in it. So I am going to be sparkling on the lips and um, also on the eyeshadow and stuff. Uh, this weekend, my workout has been going amazing. Um... And when I lay down my baby hairs and stuff like that, so I changed from the edge control that I always wore. The edge control, I wear design essentials and everything that I look. Thank you. Uh, where I'm going? No, I just came from work. I came from work, honey. Came from work. Hair done fell and all that stuff. I came home early because I need to do something with Ayana. So, but I wanted to come on here and say hi uh, to you guys. The red, you know what? I didn't even do it this Wednesday because why? I damn forgot. I forgot. I forgot. But y'all know, I like looking good. I like dressing and going to work. I love that. Um. So anyway, for my edges and stuff, I foam with um, Design Essentials. I changed my edge control from Design Essential, and then and I got this, y'all. This right here costs... $17, $16.99 a pop. I think that you might be able to... In the beauty supply store, they cost like 20-something bucks. But on Amazon, I think that you can get it for like $16. And so what I did was I ordered it from Amazon. And uh, it holds. It smells good. A lot of you guys might want to know what this is right here. This is more of what the barbers use. And it smells good. But they're starting to like use it a lot now in hair, sal hair salons. It smells good though too. This is what it looks like. It smells good. So, like, when the wind hits your hair and hits those edges, wind hits your face, it smells so good. So, whoever is behind you is just taking it in, okay? And it smells so good. Um, I would say if you guys are wearing units, add extra wig um, combs to your hair to secure your head if you're going to be wearing it for long periods of time. And um, I don't like wearing lace fronts, and I was telling Kier about lace fronts. And this right here is a lace front. If you guys have a lace front unit, y'all, that got to be glue and all that crap is not the business. Not for me. I cannot be gluing shit because me, I will sweat and I'm moving around and then y'all know that shit lift. I'm not the one for hair lifting and stuff like that. So if it fall, it's going to fall cute. Like, see how these right here are just going straight? It needs to fall cute. But, so anyway, this right here. It has the um the lace in the front. It has the invisible part. You can wear it as a U part wig though too. And so I'm gonna cut all of that off, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can add combs to each. Well, y'all know how you gotta add the combs to each side, but you need to pull it tight when you do that. So when you lay it down, you can't see all of that. So I'm gonna show you guys that though too, um as well. Um, and I do want to be coming on here and just updating you guys a lot of stuff about beauty and fitness and all that stuff. I did open back up Body Snatchback and I took it where now you can find a group. So guys, please go there, post, um, what you like and, but it's still no advertisement, um, in there. That is one way you will get kicked out of the group if you try and advertise. And so, um, but what's been my thing is y'all, my nutrition class, when I say it's kicking my butt. It is kicking my butt. And I'm still making everything um, happen. So, you know, going to work, stand to work till like after five. Then I come home, get dressed. I go to the gym. I'm at the gym till like eight or nine. It's been sometimes like 10 o'clock. I have been to the gym and then coming home and then studying. And this nutrition class is kicking my butt. It is so hard, but I'm so determined to get through that. That is one of the things um, 
Yeah, Body Snatch Back is back open. And so for some of you guys, it was so many people that had gotten blocked out of the group or whatever. If you are not unblocked, make sure you guys send me an email at Black Candy um, at Yahoo. Black underscore candy at Yahoo.com. And so that I can go straight to you because it is so many. Y'all, it was one day I was I was going through an unblocking for hours. And I want to say, I missed the Lord's was like with me. It was like four hours. I was four hours into unblocking. Oh my God. I got so tired. I was like, you know what? I can't. Um, have I changed the way I, I'm eating? Yes. Yes. I've changed the way I'm eating. I got to get my body back right. And um, I was talking to Bo uh, yesterday in the gym and stuff like that. And you know how a lot of people start saying, you know, your body's not different. Your body, your body's like the same and stuff. No, my body's not the same or whatever. Some people just carry weight well. And so, and, um, and I was just telling him, I was like, you know what? But I am my own inspiration because I'm looking at only my photos and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get back to this where I was, you know what I'm saying? A couple of months ago. And that's just it. Um, uh, so, but yeah, I have changed the way I'm eating. Um, no juice completely. Um, no soda. I'm just doing water and then I'm also doing the uh, the drops and stuff like that. Working out of the gym, hitting it hard, doing the sauna. I'm also doing my skin. You guys know I like to multitask and all that stuff. So I'm working on my skin. I'm working on my damn teeth, working on my body. I'm in school. Then I still have a full-time job. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see what this is about. I don't know who that is. So, but anywho, um, just trying to multitask and get me back together. And that's one thing that I'm good for. So, if I know that I need to be doing stuff, I'm, I'm always writing stuff down. Or either if I get my dry erase board, y'all, I put my dry erase board back up in the kitchen and wrote everything down. I was knocking it out like that. Boom, boom, boom. Like, and going back to the board. And then I'm like two days up ahead of myself, except for this damn class and stuff. So like, you know, and I'm trying to like, uh, knock out like three quizzes, um, a week. And my exam is huge and stuff, but it's a lot. It's a lot. And I was trying to see, like, if I can go through it and do everything, like, and finish it by this month. I am fasting. That's what I'm doing. I'm fasting. And then um, uh, early this morning, I went to Kroger. And um, I got some more chicken breasts. I thought I told you I'm doing the... Um, a nutrition class. Hold on. So we choose to be with you. Nutrition. That's what I'm trying to do. So, um, this is what I'm going through and it's kicking my butt. So I thought I told you guys, you guys know I'm back in school. I'm a student. Yeah, I'm a student. Um, so, and I'm trying to be not just a nutritionist. I'm trying to be a specialist, boo, a nutrition specialist. So I'm trying to take everything all the way across the board as being a specialist. And then maybe, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe. I might go back for a master nutritionist. I don't know about that. This right here can get me by. Congratulations. Nutritionist specialists can get me by, but uh, well, it, it's, it's great that I can be a nutrition specialist, but to be a master nutritionist, um, I don't know. That shit right there is hard as hell. And um, it's way more money. Um, for this right here, I just went and paid for it because I just got tired of them that like drafting, drafting, and drafting out of my account. So I called them. I said, like, let's just pay for this shit in full. 
so that y'all I don't even see that anymore because I'm doing so much shit with this podcast. So no, I need to pay for this shit in full. So I paid for this um about two months ago, um in full. So the class is paid for. I just need to pass the shit. You know, I just need to pass it. And when I'm sitting up here, ah, y'all, it's just so damn much. And um, but I'm good. You know, I'm good. I am going to complete this course. I'm going to do it. I want it. I need it with my personal training and all that stuff right there because it's so much shit that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to be black candy on here for you guys with makeup and beauty and stuff like that. Then I also want to do my personal training, but I need to have um, uh, nutrition locked in with that so um, so that I can help you guys out with nutrition and stuff. So it's just so much that I want to do and I know that I can do it besides just sitting my butt down here and doing nothing. You know, I can do so much with my time. And so that's what I'm and then also, you got to be determined to get it done. Yes, I remember when my sisters, but I have two sisters that are nurses, when they were taking their classes and stuff, and I was I was little, you know what I'm saying? I was younger, and I would see how they would go to school, and I'm just like, all you're doing is reading this and going to do that, and then you're going to the hospital, whatever, that, you know, that's fun or whatever, but um, I can respect them, though, now, you know, because then I got a chance to go to their jobs, and all that stuff and and I can respect them so much more and them studying and all that stuff even doc you know what I'm saying with the shit that he come here with and him still studying and doing all this shit and then I'm trying to read and ask questions I can't even pronounce the words you know what I'm saying I can't even pronounce the words he ain't even looking at the book and he can tell me what the word is or whatever but when I sit here and tell you guys that that nursing and all that stuff and going to school and all that stuff that shit is hard, and I can respect you guys for that. You know, we need you, honey. You got to pass that. And so uh, that right there, I'm really, really focused on getting um, this nutrition class uh, out of the way. And um, Black Candy After Dark, um, my personal training, and all this stuff. So I have, um, I know it is, I, and you know, and it's just like, my mind is so far up ahead of me that I am trying to catch up. It's like my mind is right here. And it's like, come on, come on, come on. Because, you know, my ideas just stack. And I'm just a person that if you have an idea and you tell me about your idea, I can come up with a way where you can get to it and you can blast and make money. You know what I'm saying? But and I'm just like that. I dig because of how I was raised with my parents and my grandfather. You know, so... Um, it's just like, okay, if I give you a dime, what you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do with this dime that I get? I give you, you know? And like how I did when we were kids, they had penny candy, right? So a lot of people don't know about penny candy. So you gave me a dime and then it was no tax and stuff like that on the penny candy. Then you're going to go get you 10 pieces of candy. And then somebody wants some candy and stuff. Then you're going to sell it to them. Oh, you want this piece of candy? Give me a quarter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so wrong. You got a quarter. You want this candy? You got a quarter in your hand, or you gonna have to run? You have to walk to the store, and it's way down across the tracks. You got a quarter? Okay. Boom. You are gonna try and turn it and make you some profit? Big ass profit if you can. You know what I'm saying? Because it's either you gonna walk and you gonna sweat, but I got what you want right here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, give me fifteen cent. Give me ten cent for this one piece. But it's my mind is just so out there. You remember penny candy? Yes. Honey, some of these people don't know nothing about penny candy and the five cent now and laters when they used to be the real now and laters where they was hard. You know what I'm saying? They was hard. That and then the lemon drops um, in the box, the um, baked beans, the candy cigarettes. Um, I think they still sell the dip candy and stuff like that. Also, at some places that you can go to like still in the country where they dip the ice cream and stuff um yes they did you can get your ice cream and then they used to wear um it was like the double cones and stuff like that do y'all remember the mandrel dolls they used to wear sell the um the mandrel sisters them plastic dolls them damn legs it, they were so plastic you can do just like that they sold like barber dolls in the in the um convenience store and all that stuff yeah the dipstick a lot of these kids don't know anything about it my kids laugh and stuff about um Pay phones. Yeah. Exactly. 
Um, they don't know anything about pay phones and stuff like that. And I was telling um, one of my officers today, yes, oh my God, yes. I, I was telling one of my officers today about how people will just, young kids now will just quit a job. You know what I'm saying? They'll work and they will work two weeks and get a full paycheck or whatever and then they, they quit. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they have no responsibility or they don't have um they don't have anyone to show them. You know what I'm saying? To show them, you know, uh show them the ropes and stuff. So they'll quit. And um so but anyway me and how I grew up and working and stuff like this right here. I mean, you guys get to work in, y'all get to work in buildings, whether they working in fast food or not. You guys are in AC and, you know, somebody's talking to you and they just think that, you know, they don't want anybody to um, tell them anything because they know every single thing. You know what I'm saying? If you know something, then this should have been your damn business. You know what I'm saying? You should have started this shit a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And now, now put in an application. You should have started this shit. You should have built this shit. But these kids are just, some of these kids are just lazy as hell. But they don't, some of them don't have any responsibility. And some of the parents, you know what I'm saying, don't um, tell them that they have to do anything. You know, but some kids, you can do that. You can help them with while they're in school. But some, some of these kids, you know, you got to give them a bill and stuff like that. Remember, that's how Kiara was with her spoiled ass. So, um, me growing up and having to be on time, and, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I said this. You know what I'm saying? Don't take any offense to how I'm saying this to you guys because I'm old school. Way back old school. And this is why I know how, um, why I work so hard because I'm grateful and I'm thankful and my job, I have a huge, huge responsibility. Huge responsibility. It's one me. Huge responsibility. And so, but if you come from where I come from, you learn how to make shit a little bit easier for you. You know what I'm saying? And then you can rock and roll with it. So, I started off working when I was five years old. See this? Five, five years old, five. Me at 16, working at McDonald's was not my first job. That was my first job that I applied for and filled out an application is when I was 16 years old. And so, but other than that, I was five years old when I first worked. I was five years old and I was getting up at 4.30 in the morning because my grandmother had to make, um, grits and stuff for my grandfather before he went to work and he was out the door at six or whatever so it was up you getting dressed so that you can be awake i was in the country i grew up i started out working in the fields if you name it i've been there okay crap and tobacco watermelon squash every type of pea that you want corn picking stuff by the bushels i'm not embarrassed by it at all and then you would get paid $8 a bushel, one. That's a hamper, right? That's a hamper like this, right? And you had to fill it up. You are picking one pea at a time, right? Wait a minute. Them damn peas this big, right? You having to pick these and you bending over and you're back. Hot as hell, like right outside like now. You picking one of these at a time and you putting them in this damn hamper. And when that hamper get full, you be like, damn, I don't feel it up, right? Nah, it ain't filled up. Because somebody's going to come and push that shit down. And that shit going to go all the way down. And that shit is not filled. And if you one person, you trying to do that right there. If you've only filled one hamper or two hampers during the day, you only getting paid $16. And you don't been out there 35,000 damn hours and you burnt the hell up. And you can only eat when you're told to. Right? And then you are going to be to work on time. I'm going to tell you why you're going to be to work on time. You're going to be to work on time because this is how it was said. The white man pick you up. Exactly. Exactly. Because everybody didn't have cars back then. Everybody didn't have cars. So what happens is you're up until the truck comes through the quarters. And when the truck comes through the quarter, everybody jump on the back of the truck. 
I was little. I got to ride in the inside. Ain't no damn AC, though. I got to ride in the inside. So, now, the person that, you know, everybody would work for, I actually grew up with the kids. I grew up with the kids from, you know, all around. And then it's like a lot of this produce and all this stuff right here. When I, like, see, and it is so funny. It's like when I see the Subway commercial and I see Walt on the Subway commercial, it's like crazy. It's like... I went to school with this kid. You know what I'm saying? I know these kids. I know them personally. Don't been to my house. I've been to their house. Don't work with their fields and all that stuff. Don't play sports and all this stuff with all these people. Know their families and all this stuff. And we were kids that we would play together. And I know them all. But um, you did that. and But you outside in the heat. And you can only eat like what? They did like 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. And then you be like an hour. They called it knocking off back then. Not clocking, not clocking out. They say knock off. But you ain't have no time, damn car. You had somebody coming through there just saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna take a lunch break or whatever. And then you had like this big water thing on the back. And then they had one ladle. One ladle. I mean, you could bring your own lunch or whatever. They had one ladle. But that water be cold as shit. And so, but working hard back then versus like now yeah you got to use your mind and all this stuff right here but i'm grateful you know what i'm saying grateful to be able to come to work and drive myself to work and not have to work hard like how i did at the age of five now at the age of five the worst thing that i did hate was cropping tobacco you know what i'm saying they had the tractors going down the roads and stuff and so by me being the little one you know what i'm saying so when they're cropping and as they're cropping, they're up on the thing. And if they're cropping and they don't get a whole bunch right quick to pass over to the person who was putting everything like was in the square hamper and they drop that shit, right? They're dropping it. And the damn tractor just keeps fucking going. It don't stop, right? It's, that's a good leaf. You got somebody in the damn back running behind the damn tractor or walking behind the tractor picking up leaves like me in the hot damn sun, five, six years old. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that, I mean, it just, just taught me just to be grateful and stuff like that. And from, you know, where I come from, that's why I know so much. I've been through so much and all this stuff, like, you know, seeing my grandparents and my parents and all that stuff like that. But now my mom was a manager and all that stuff right there, but I have a lot of life experiences and a lot of things. So, you know, I can touch just about on anything, on about anything. So, um, I just wish that, you know, some of these kids just take a look at, you know, whether they can help their parents, help themselves and stuff like that and and move out. So when my kids sit there and be like, I don't like this and I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. What? Do you know how I work? And you just you just going to McDonald's or whatever, you know, to, to turn some damn fries and sit, get your ass in there, get on, get to work on time. You know, so some of these kids, they don't care. They don't care. I just don't know. Don't know. Don't know. But. No kid of mine is like that. No kid of mine is like that. So, anywho, I don't got off on that tantrum. Yeah, it's really a different world on now. You know, my kids used to laugh at me about the damn cell phone and stuff like that. Cell phone, flip phones, and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm mean, not cell phone, pay phone. You know, I remember waiting in line, you know, with my grandparents. And so, we just sitting in the car. You got somebody just sitting on the pay phone. For a long time, we just sitting in the car waiting on them to get off the payphone. And then they, they see you sitting in the car and shit on the damn payphone. I was like, oh, my God. And, y'all, I used to be obsessed with the payphone. I used to always be like, dang, I want how much money in there. <laughs> like, the money just sit right there, and it's got a keyhole right there. I wonder how much money. I used to always think that it was just thousands of dollars in the payphone. Man, that shit. So, I don't know. I like working, and... um. I just like doing what I do and 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 busy, being busy. I mean, I do. I love my job, but there's so many other things that I can do though too, and that's what I plan on doing. One thing, I gotta look cute while I'm doing it. Party lines. I don't want to do no party lines because baby, I would have somebody down. And let me tell you, I can take somebody's mind to another level. The codes to make, oh, you know what? I think my brother them used to do that. But do y'all remember about how you used to do the, um, 
collect calls on the on the um pay phone you pick up the pay phone because you ain't you don't have a quarter right you don't have 25 cents so you dial somebody's telephone number and then you get the um operator you tell them you want to make a collect call and then they ask you the number you give them the number right and then so when operators on the phone there's like you know we have a collect call from um from diana or whatever and you like i'm gonna pay phone come right back you know but they are because the pay phone telephone number used to be right there on the payphone, right? <laughs> and so if you call somebody's house, that collect call never goes through. So you're like, I'm on the payphone, call right back, and you hang up. And then they know to call you back. <laughs> right? Yeah, you gotta say it fast. And then they call the payphone back. Man, that was the business. You know? <laughs> like, man, and then, um, when you learn to break through somebody's line and all that stuff, y'all, my mama, ooh, I know my mama was mad at me. So then um, I called myself liking a guy uh, one time. But, you know, they didn't have it. They didn't have, like, two-way. You know how, like, you can, like, click down on the phone. Y'all don't think about the old phone that you down put down like this. That got the little flick thing that come up like that, right? So you call, right, you call and um, they line busy. Damn, every time you keep calling, bump, bump, line busy. Mm. Till you found out it costs $20. That's too much damn money. You know your mama gonna kill you. $20 to break through the line, right? So that line be so busy and you call yourself being fast and you liking these little boys or whatever. So you dial the operator. You call the operator. You know, they call, they, do they have operators anymore? I don't even damn know how that shit works. Calling the landline like that. I don't even know. So, but anywho, you tell the operator, yes, I want to, um, can you break through the line of this number right here? And, uh, yeah, you interrupt the call. Can you break through, can you break through the line? You know, it's an emergency or whatever, or whatever. And operator telling you what's or what. Then they'll be like, yeah, hold on. Next thing you know, the operator breaks through the line. Somebody like, hello, the operator coming through the line on the phone call. You can, the, you can hear the other person. I have an emergency. They, we, we're interrupting the line. And all this stuff. And you make a whoever man. And then you hate if it's somebody damn mama. You trying to call some boy. They, hello. <laughs> hello. You was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> but even though the operator broke through that line and cut that phone call off, that $20 is on your mama phone bill. And then you just getting scared because you know that phone bill is coming. That phone bill is coming. And then... Your mama see that big ass phone bill. 20. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Y'all know my mama was coming for me. That's when Diane. You want to tell y'all Diane is like my shadow side, right? That Diane, when my mama calls Diane, it is something wrong. So that's my nickname, Diane, right? Diane or or Dee Dee. And my grandfather used to call me Petey. So anyway, if my mama was screaming Diane, it was something wrong. And she was mad as fuck. I, I was in. I was in trouble. And she was going to hit me. Something was going to happen. That temper had blown. Who the hell? When you... I was like, oh my God. And then, you know, they got the number and to which line was broken. I was like... So, you know, your mama going to call to find out. They down... Who is this? That's just how they going... Who is this? And who live here? Do you know my daughter? I'm like, oh, Lord. And just be embarrassing. Just... I was like, oh, this lady going to kill me, get in trouble, and stuff like that. So, but anywho, those are, like, good memories and stuff like that. And then, so, y'all y'all know, I'm, like, at a good place and stuff, though, right now, sharing all this stuff with y'all. So, um, just the fond memories. I miss being around my mama, though, too, y'all. I got to make sure my mom went home yesterday. I haven't called my mother. So, anywho, I'm going to do that wig video for you guys. I'm going to go and get my workout on. I am going to, I need to take off this makeup. Y'all, my chin is um, messed up and stuff. Um, girl, yes, the good days. The good days. I mean, and some of you guys need to go back to your childhood and think about some of all of those old memories, like the piccolo. I don't know if some of you guys might know what the piccolo is. Some people call it the jukebox and stuff like that. And so, um... And some people say, you know, they had a juke, juke joint. My grandfather had a juke joint or whatever. So, um, I grew up in the world of hustlers. I grew up in the world of everybody working. And also sports. 
you know, that was something that you were going to have to learn growing up. And also church. Y'all know it. it was all together, all church and stuff. So, and then dressing up and all that stuff. So, anywho, um, some of you guys need to pull out some of those childhood memories and think back and just laugh about it. Laugh about it with your brothers and sisters, you know, family members and ask them, do they um, remember like all of that, you know, and just smile about some of the time. Some people are like, you know, I grew up like this and it was sad. It wasn't always sad for me. It wasn't. Now, was I afraid of my mama? I was scared of shit of my mama because my mama didn't damn play. My mama didn't play. Damn. I have be wanting to say that my mama was crazy. Yeah, everybody went to church and you went to church with your grandma or your mama and they got your ass ready. It ain't like now, like some of the kids like, meet me at the church. No. Y'all all walking in there together and everybody dressed up. It ain't like now how you can just come as you are. There's nothing wrong with coming as you are though right now. You know what I'm saying? I like how all of that is. But back then, everybody dressed to the nines, to the tens. You wore your Sunday's best and them big ass down. The mother of the church sitting in the church like this with they church hat on. <laughs> And those mothers of the church and women in the church, they was trying to wear the biggest hat so that they can be seen. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had them big old ass hats. Them shits be all the way out here. And then that's when they started coming out with the hats that to the side. And then they had, they had the nets over the face. You know what I'm saying? Then you had a look. You had the nets. Remember they had a little net and stuff like that over the face like that. And them mothers be sitting up there at the church hunting. They thought they were cute. And then they had their handkerchiefs. And then, um, y'all remember the fans? Them big old ass damn, what those fans called? Yeah, me and War Top. What's them damn fans? Those like Chinese fans. But they didn't have Chinese write, writing on them then. Man, them mugs. How they, these mugs are like, they ain't enough paper on here. You want my damn quizzes. So anyway, they had them damn fans and they flap them open. And them fans and they just, with them big ass hats. Thinking they cute. Think about their damn hat and chip. Them mothers wasn't playing. You hear me? And they sat to the front of the church. To the front of the church. And then we couldn't even sit all the way back there to the back. Especially like if you sung in the choir. And when they called the choir, we're going to have two selections by the senior choir today. Y'all remember that? And then everybody trying to get up. Oh, I remember this shit. Girl, them church fans, <laughs> yeah, on them pops, sickle sticks. And why do they always have them church fans advertising the funeral home, uh, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Martin Luther King Jr.? That's what was on the fans. And then they always had, well, they did have one woman, though, that was on the same church fan. And they used to hate when they be passing out the fans, and they be all bent. And they be trying to get the younger people, the ones with the popsicle stick broke off. And they all, and your shit just flat. It, you ain't getting no air. Because there wasn't no AC. There wasn't no AC. But when they called the choir up there to sing, right? We're going to have an A and a B selection by our senior choir. And then you got to come through. Like you sitting way over here and all these people down here, right? Y'all got my shirt open. All these people right here. And you on the road. Then you're going to get up like you all cute. And then you got to get over everybody. You're trying to show everybody you're about to go and sing and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you always got somebody who want to just like take over and just sing all the time because, you know, you help and direct the choir. I had one cousin. I had one cousin. Don't get mad. Y'all, when I sit here and tell y'all my whole family, all of us, everybody sing, grew up in the church. Everybody. Everybody. Girl, you wish I was too young. No, no. I started off in the baby choir. I started off from a baby to the junior choir to the senior choir. Always in church. Then we started going everywhere to my uncles. All of my uncles were pastors except for one. My, um, not, that wasn't my uncle. That was my grandfather. So anyway, all of them were pastors. All of them had their own churches. Then we started traveling around. They were starting to go in, um, preach and stuff at different churches, they would bring their choir along. So we would always have to go and sing different places and stuff like that, you know, to bring their choir. But I had one cousin. Everybody can sing. Now they can blow. But Sharon, though. Sharon. And then they want to do... Y'all remember when they do the damn double clap? Stop it, I say. Stop it. All the way back in the day till like 
clogged shoes, platform shoes, everybody doing everything. But I can just say that if I look back at everything that I went through from like growing up, I had some great times. Because right now, you can't like go to sleep on the porch. Somebody come knock your ass out, break in your house, kill you, and shit like that right there. But I am so grateful for all the people and stuff that I know and the heart that I have. But, um, girl, let me tell y'all, y'all, I got so tired of them damn, but the tangerines were good. Yeah, they give you them big old ass bags of tangerine. Them tangerines were good. But the peppermint back then, it was that navel peppermint, that hard ass peppermint that looked like it had a, a navel in the middle. And your grandma used to be doing shit like, when she, when I had on, with that big old fan. I'm like. And then they always. They always had. When my grandma. When we get ready to go to church. She had a huge bag of peppermint. They get a big hand of peppermint. And throw it in their purse. One shit in there. You had a couple of dollars. And a huge thing of damn peppermint. You know what I'm saying. Mother Cladis. You got some peppermint. I was like. I hated that peppermint. I hated it. I hate, and then you trying to say something to your friends in church. You be like, hey, what you doing right there? What? You talking to your friends, right? You trying to say something, and you close up by your grandma. You be like, hey, hey. And your grandma see you, she knocked out. Shut up. We be like, oh, knock the hell out you. Or either pinching. You know how they, and they, they don't, they pinch like, that they get your skin and pinch you like that and they turn it shut up by the pastor shut up you see pastor ca i'm like pastor ca that's uncle ca to me stop it you know what i'm saying but anyway y'all it's just like my uncles played a very big part of my life and also growing up in my spirituality and stuff that's why i am when i say it comes like spirituality is very very deep to me very deep to me. I grew up with it, but even though I grew up with it, I now take away from what I learned to what I can use though right now. Because I feel, and I'm going to say this because I know my family watches my vlogs. I feel it's everything that I was taught from all of my uncles, all of my uncles, everything that I, I was taught, I can't use. Because some of that was based upon your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? And how you saw things. Now, I see things differently. And what works for me and what I got from it, I'm truly grateful and thankful. You know what I'm saying? Just like how you guys thought that <clears throat> people had to dress all the way up to the nines to go to church and stuff like that. I don't feel like they need to do that. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're going to sit there and tell people to come as you are, have them to come as they are. You know what I'm saying? Just come. And uh, because it's a way that you get the message over to people in order for me to get a message over to you i don't need for you to have this big old ass hat on your head for me to get a message over to you if i'm gonna talk to you and stuff like that i need to get to you on a deeper level level and i need to connect with you spiritually and where you are spiritually i don't know where you are but i will find it i need to connect with you to see where you are i will meet you where you are and then we go from there so that's it on spirituality, you know what I'm saying? So, but anywho, uh, just me and my growing up and singing in the church. When I sit here and tell y'all, some of these, most of these artists and stuff that's out here that sing and stuff though now that you guys love their music, guess where they started from? You know what I'm saying? That's where their heart was. You know what I'm saying? Their heart started off with music and loving music and doing their thing in the church. You know what I'm saying? That was their platform. And then so... When you learn from there, and then now you got this huge arena, you're going to show out because you've already been doing this for all of your life. And it's just like how my brothers and cousins and stuff like with, with basketball, learning to play basketball, we didn't have these basketball courts and stuff like that. They played on dirt with like holes in the backyard and all that stuff. And they had to learn how to dribble uh, holes and all that stuff. And tire rims were the basketball goals and plywood was the backboard or whatever and it was like um on a tree so they learned how to be good then so just think of when they got on a smooth surface 
how easy it was for them because they had already put in the hard work and they learned how to do shit hard. So when you see some shit like this, you're like, oh, I'm not out here in the sun. I'm in, I'm in the AC, playing ball, smooth surface, none but net, glass. Oh, I got this all day long. So that's what it comes to me and working and my work ethic from me doing things hard hard learning how to perform and be good at what i did hard and also learned how to perform without people looking running behind a tractor while everybody else was going in front of me you know what i'm saying so i learned to work hard while nobody else was looking and i seen you know what was easier for me so what the hell are you gonna do you're not gonna be close to this damn tractor out here in this hot ass sun what you're gonna do is you're gonna let them drop a bunch of this damn tobacco you know what I'm saying? A bunch. Let that tractor get way up there. And then when you see all these damn leaves, then you go and you pick up all this shit and you catch up. Then you let the ass go way up there and then you damn catch up again. And by the time they get to the end of the fucking row, before they turn that damn tractor around, you already done caught up. You right there. They don't know. They just been right there. But you been damn doing your job. And I been in shit back there. And ain't nobody rushing you. So, <clears throat> it's just that sometimes that you have to pull back and look at everything that's in front of you and find out the easiest way for you to approach something. You know what I'm saying? You got the whole world in front of you. And sometimes people don't like people. Some people say, <clears throat> I can't stand that person or they're stressed out and all that. How many of you guys know that a lot of times it's not people bothering you. It's your mind. It's your mind that's bothering you. You know what I'm saying? You need to clear your mind and look at different, look at what, look at things differently from a different perspective. So, <clears throat> work easy, not hard. Make it easy. You know what I'm saying? Work smart, work easy. You don't have to make it hard. You know? And why am I even going on that tantrum? I guess because some of these young kids and stuff like that, you know, not want to. Uh, do right but anyway this is a beauty channel this is a beauty channel and y'all gotta know that black candy after dark is coming i'm so excited about black candy after dark trying to get my body right also sexy outfits and stuff like that i have been looking at some stuff i got some things in my basket from you know what i'm gonna be wearing i know it was some of the guys i saw oh i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there so it's gonna be a lot of people like up in my crib it's gonna be a lot of people up in my crib and so but I'm all excited and I'm ready and I'm happy. Go to Body Snatchback. Join Body Snatchback. Do you. Be accountable. I'm in there. I'm going to be accountable. I'm going to be back tonight doing this wig video. But right now, I need to go get ready and work out. Take off this makeup. And work out. My little new little lipstick is um, wearing off. And I got to take Ayana to this store. How you got kicked out and couldn't get back in? Uh, check now and see if, um, see if you can, um, if you can see the group and see if you can get back in. Because if you're unblocked, I'm going to say if you're blocked, then um, let me know that you're blocked and I'll go in there searching for your name. Because it's just so many people that I have to like unblock. But I'm going through their stuff though too to see if it was some dang bull crap. And stuff like that but it is just like so many people that are um how you got blocked in this live i don't know but i'm going to um go through the through my settings and stuff um on this too sorry sorry that you got blocked when did you get blocked now I hope you didn't just get blocked now. If you got blocked now, I'm going to have to go back through this block. What nude is this? I don't know why you couldn't get in. Um, This right here is a Diamond Glow lip gloss. Let me show you. See this? It's a Diamond Glow lip gloss. And then here is... I hope you guys can see that. Oh, this it's called Graceful. You can see that. It's graceful. And then, but I got, I picked up some more. Like I said, I'm going to start wearing glosses through the summer because of my teeth. I want to show my teeth. I'm trying to get my teeth back right. And um, 
I'm trying out different lashes. Oh, yeah, it be doing that sometimes. It'll do that sometimes. It's all good, though. It's all good. You know, as long as people are able to get the um, the video, though, too. So, tomorrow, um, I'm, I'm going to wear this unit, though, too. Do she have a name? I don't know, because it's been two years since I wore her. Oh, it's iron safe, though, too, up to 400 degrees. So, I can... I don't even know what her name is. It was on my mannequin, so... Tomorrow, I'm going to be wearing herbal. I'll be wearing this hustle tomorrow. I'm going to be short tomorrow. But right now, I'm about to have nothing on. And I got to go and get ready. Oh, somebody was asking me, saying what happened um, about Doc. Because I was saying about the commitment thing. You know what I'm saying? About the commitment. Okay, let me tell you guys about this right here. Um... Yeah, she gonna be cute. She gonna be cute tomorrow though too. But I gotta lock these combs on. Um, uh, is Doc around? Yes, Doc is still around. Doc is just out of town right now because Doc had to leave on an emergency. So Doc is doing medical stuff though right now. Right now, he's doing medical stuff. Well, anyway, he is where he needs to be. Um, but he getting ready to. I don't know. He's supposed to be calling me back to let me know when he was flying back in. So, anywho. Um, Doc is out and uh, what I said like a commitment is like when I want to go all the way in um, I've only been all the way in when I was married you can't give a person all of you that's what I'm going to touch bases on when I'm speaking back with Sharon about that right there is Doc still around Doc is still around Doc still still here um, I have not said that even though people see see us together and we're around, I have not said that I am Doc's girlfriend. But when people see us, you know, that's what they say. You know what I'm saying? The guy asked me the other day when I was walking the dog. And then he was like, yo, I haven't seen the doctor, you know, uh, walking the dog. And why you haven't been to the pool? And I was like, well, damn. And I was like, because I gained weight. He was like, what, weight, or whatever. And then I was like, oh, no, nah, you know, he out of town. He was like, I didn't know because I, I see his truck. Like, damn, you be paying attention to what he drive? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have the truck, but damn. Girl, let me tell you something. I said that too. I said he ain't going to let me know when he's coming in. Because you know why? One day, it was some months ago, I was smart. If he watching this vlog, I ain't paying no attention. Um, I thought I was being smart. This was probably about four months ago. And um, I decided I was just going to come home early you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't feeling it, but I was just going to come home work. I came home, and it was like 11 o'clock. I said, let me take a shower. So, you know, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Right. I was like, I'm going to chill for a little bit. And, yeah, it was 11 o'clock. And I heard my cell phone ringing. So, I jump out the shower, and I see that it's Doc calling, right? Then I'm like, hello? And he was like, I see your car home. <laughs> what he was like i see your car home doc had drove he was driving by here and i was like yeah he was like open the gate i was like oh shit i was like y'all i was home for like a good 30 minutes and he was checking i was like shit he's like i see your car open that gate I was like, oh, shit. So, I thought about that on yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, so when I talked to him, he's like calling me back because it might be some changes to his time of him coming back. And he has not called me. And when Doc make up his mind about he's going to do something, it's done and it's not changing. He's not changing his mind. It ain't no way you can force him. He don't give a damn what you say. If his mind is on, okay, today he's going to study at this time, this time, and he's going to be reading this. Um, I, I don't know about all that. But if he's going to be reading or studying at this time, even when it comes to me, you know what I'm saying? If it comes to me, and if I want to like come in between that time of that study time or whatever, him doing something, that shit ain't happening. At all. He make up his mind, he gonna do some shit. That's it. It. That medical shit? Mm-mm. It's gonna be that way. Now, um, 
Now, ain't no tracker on the car now. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let me back that up. It is a tracker on my car. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. It's a tracker on my car, but not by Doc. It's a tracker on my car because of David. Now, that I know. David put a tracker on my car. <laughs> so, but, uh, Kitty work it? No. I mean, I had a phone. I don't even, I can't even get into it to get it. But, anywho. So, with that being said, I don't know. If Doc gonna pick me up, be like, yo, I'm not pick me up, be like, hey, I'm flying in it this time, I'll be here at this time, whatever. So he has not told me anything, and I don't know. But I mean, he's good when he's gonna tell me something, he's gonna tell me. But will he pop up? What are you gonna do? Pop up an Uber from the airport? Nah, his ass ain't about the Uber. He's not gonna I mean I have his truck, but mm -mm. I don't if Doc did that shit, now, Alicia thought, like, when I was in um, Florida, because then Doc called me and was like, hey, um, got some changes, you know, the office was closing or whatever. And she was like, he about to fly down there. And I seriously thought that he was going to call me. Even Ayana said, Ayana was like, he going to call you and, like, come pick him up from the airport. I seriously thought that he was going to say that because I knew he wanted to be where I was. Hell, I wanted him to come, shit. But, um, but I didn't. I just got time with Ayana. I got a time with a young which was cool. Cool by me. So, but, uh, no, I have not, I, we have not discussed that. But everybody, I mean, as of us being together all the time, Doc being here all the time and stuff like that, we do do things, um, as a couple, as a couple. But, you know, if somebody gonna claim me, we gonna sit down and talk about it. It ain't gonna be no me just wondering, well, I think that we together, we doing this and we doing that. No, we gonna sit down and talk about this shit right here. Yo, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know what I'm saying? Nah. And then plus where, and I got to be able to make sure a person, you know, that we're on the same page. Shit. That we got to make sure that we're on the same page. I mean, that's it. So those of you guys who was asking if Doc's still around about a commitment, that's why I was saying I'm dangerously going to hurt somebody because I want to get in commitment because I got all this build up and build up and build up and build up. And you know, you really want to unleash and really give yourself to somebody, but you can't give all that to everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't give yourself to everybody um, like that. Everybody can't handle shit like that. It just depends on, you know, what you are. You know what I'm saying? They're asking you. I'm a different type of female. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a different type of female because not only do I have feminine energy, I also have, I also have masculine energy. So, therefore, when there is a male around me, when you sometimes you have two dominant energies it you know it's like that force field you know what i'm saying it's and me i have to have someone who understands me and know where i am when i'm getting on um you know what i'm saying when i'm getting you know in that masculine energy most of the time when i'm getting in that masculine energy because i want some shit to go right and i'm saying what's right and what's wrong and what i will put up with and what i won't put up with and what's good for us and if i think that you're doing something wrong then i'm going to tell you that shit wrong i'm not gonna be like well you know what baby I don't think that we should do this, you know, like this right here. Nah, hell no. Nah. Why the fuck you doing shit like that right there that's going to make problems for you and I? Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to rise up, and, you know, and I'm going to voice myself. I ain't going to say no shit that's going to hurt us, you know, but my the masculine part comes up. And just like how a man wants to be a provider and stuff like that right there. I also want to provide for my man. I want us to provide for each other. So there's my masculine energy is raising up though too. Though there, because when a man's like, okay, a woman shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. No, no, let's do this shit together. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can go out there and I can make this bread and you can go out there and you can make this bread, let's just make bread and let's just bake. You know what I'm saying? Let's bake and feed the fucking family. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to be like, you know, oh, well, you know, you can stay home and you can do this right here. If I got some millions... Yeah, I'll stay home and then work some other businesses, but nah. So, I mean, it's just that some men think that women talk too much or do a lot of stuff like that right there. I have feminine and masculine energy, and I don't hide that. And just like how a man wants to protect his family, I'm a female that I like to protect mine, though, too. Because if I see that you're coming at me or coming at my family, I'm going to rise up to protect us. Not just him, and that can sometimes be a problem for some people and stuff like that, but I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? I believe in family. I believe in having some. I believe in working and working together. You know, so um, 
I do have that masculine energy that will rise up. Has Doc seen that energy? Hell to the hell. He's seen it. But Doc can handle me, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Because he say some shit. Oh, my God. Sometimes it's just... But he's he's a great person. He's a great person, but he mean what the fuck he say. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And it's not going to change. It's not going to change if it's right. Now, he ain't going to try to get over on you and shit like that. That don't happen. Do I think he's down for me? Yeah. I think he's down for me. I think it's down for him. So, but, um, yes, Doc is around. And I have to make up my mind whether, you know, I'm just going to lock shit, you know, down. I'm not just this fun girl where I'm just going to just like fun, fun, fun. I have too much things I want to do. I have too much that, to offer. And um, so I'm just not just living on the edge. You know what I'm saying? No. If I'm going to be with a person like that right there and you don't be with a person this long, then y'all basically like living together. Then it is what it is. And I'm just not going to just like, oh, we ain't never talked about it or whatever. No, nah. it's getting to the point where we have to talk about it. I got to talk about it and I got to get into a commitment because I be wanting to do some shit, do some things. And I can't just do some things with somebody, you know, that I'm just in a situation shit with. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just can't. I can't let, let loose like that. You know, I need to be able to talk about other things. I need to be able to talk about finances. I need to talk about building. I need to talk. I mean, we do talk about that, but I need to talk about a whole lot of other stuff. Now, um, I think that Doc is pretty much, um, he knows things a little bit deeper than anybody else that I've been with. Hell, I ain't been with nobody else. So, that's just it. Honey, go get it in because I'm getting ready to be get it in though too. Um, do what Doc watch my videos. Doc does watch my videos. He don't watch them all the way through. I don't think. Uh, wait, let me take that back. I think since he's been gone, since he's been gone, I think he's probably have been checking in on my videos to see what's up. I don't know. Shit, he could he could just call. He can call or either he can call Ayana. He'll text Ayana or something like that. So but anyway, I gotta get off of here. I'll come back to y'all with those wig videos. I love you guys. Make sure you guys thumbs up. Get ready for Black Candy After Dark, and um. That's just it. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and all of your support. I love you guys. Bye.